Hi, Michelle here. I wanted to kind of jump on board real quick because believe it or not, um, I got a big box of plant mail today. And I'm, I, I first must say, I'm feeling a little, um, I'm feeling a little dis, not quite true to my full nature. I've had a few unboxings lately, and I want to let you know that this is not normally how I buy plants. I normally buy plants pretty few and far between. There has been a change in the Hoya marketplace uh, the last few months, and plants that I had wanted but really had no opportunity to have access to uh, price wise have suddenly now come down in price considerably and now for the first time I actually have access to these. So the climate of lowering prices has caused me to buy a few more plants than I normally would. So you may see some unboxings on this channel. Just know that I normally don't buy plants all the time. Um, I normally buy kind of few and far between. So if you are hoping that this is gonna turn into an unboxing channel a lot, I would, I don't wanna dash your hopes, but I would temper it with a little bit of moderate optimism. I got this from Amber's Hoyas, and this is who sent me my last wish list, and I was so impressed with her plants and her stocks and her service that I went ahead and asked her if she had a few more of my wish list plants, and she said she did, so she sent them on over. So here we have, we also have insulation. This box traveled for seven days. And here we are, we have Amber's ticket. We have fluff. We have fluff and we have plants contained inside of fluff. I can see something peeking through. And this is pretty exciting, this first plant coming out of the fluff. I do believe I know what this is. Yes, how, what a beauty. This is a Finlaysonii dark. Look at these leaves, look at those leaves. It's a Finlaysonii type, but the leaves are long. It's very splashy. The veins are dark for the, for the plant. The, the, uh, the leaves are very thick and cardboardy. Uh, they traveled well. This went through a six day travel, thanks to the post office and their infinite wisdom. It's got a new leaf back here, still feels nice. It's got two very long stem new growth points here that are actually still growing. And it's even got a new leaf right there. Wow, it's in a three inch pot. This we bought for me and my daughter to split. We both love Finlay Sony Eyes. And who can, uh, who can resist a new type of Finlay Sony Eye? And this Finlay Sony Eye Dark, this is just, oh, this just takes the case. This reminds me a lot of my species Bohoy um, that I got from another seller that my daughter and I split to. Um, unfortunately, the leaves on that that I have have no stem. It's just the node and nothing else. So for the past six months, I've been rooting and rotting the roots on that Hoya over and over again. But this Finlaysonii Dark, oh, it looks beautiful. I can't wait to get it on some sort of trellis, get these, get these new growth points on there so they have something to climb onto. 
it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six leaves and one baby once. So that's really good. So this is my first plant. This is the Finlaysonii Dark. This one, oh, I'm gonna put this back because that's, that's my wish list one. This is, she put it what it is on the outside, so I'm gonna open this up. All right, here we go. Look at those leaves. Don't even have it out of the fluff, and I can already see the the, the uh, roots, the roots look awesome. Looks like this is in cocoa peat or in uh, tree fern fiber, but probably cocoa peat because she's a big nursery and I don't think the financial logistics of putting everything in, in uh, tree fern fiber would go good for a large grower. Okay, this is, let me get the exact cultivar. This is the Lacanosa Leopard Skin. Now, isn't that an unusual one? It's got varied, it's got mottled silvering. What it reminds me of is it reminds me of a Nova Ghost uh, that is semi-reverted or that gets a lot of sun and the leaves kind of revert a little. This is really, really interesting as a Lacanosa goes. It's a very long leaf. The, the leaves are very thick. They're very turgid. They feel strong. Uh, this definitely passes the tug test. You can see the roots in the pot, so they look great. So that's my second plant, the Lacanosa leopard skin. That was a gift, she says. She wrote that, that that was a gift. And that was super nice for her. This is the plant that I bought. This is the Pistolop Pistolepsis. Pistolepsis. This is a cutting. This is a leaf Hoya, that you get it for the leaf. Oh wow, look at that. The leaves on this, when they first come out, they have abs for days. And I do believe that this is a fresh cutting. So I can break this out and put this in anything I want. And I think I will put this in tree fern fiber. But let's take this off and open it up. Oh, there it is, it's a nice long stem. But there it is. You can kind of see the abs it forms. It's got kind of a velvety feeling underneath, but it develops these abs and these abs become very prominent. This one doesn't have it so much, but you can definitely see it more on this one. And when this comes in new leaves, that's when you'll really see it. So that's the plant I bought. And she gave me, she gave me two plants and two cuttings. This is the second gift, and it's an Anna Kajanoe. I'm gonna have to look up the pronunciations of some of these words. This was so kind of her to give me two, two uh, gifts that uh that was really sweet of her you know i was i was really eyeing that lacanosa leopard skin oh man look at that look at that oh man that's awesome i love i love hoyas with 
long spear shaped leaves. They just, uh, they're very interesting to me. You know, anything from a Solowesiana to a Yetii, and look at this. It is, it's, it's pubescent, it's fuzzy, it's got just a very, it's like velvety, like, like a velvet poster. That is beautiful. After I showed my last unboxing from Amber, I heard from a lot of you who said that Amber was your definite go-to seller for Hoyas. I really appreciate it that you went and watched my video by hearing from it from Amber's group. Um, that meant a lot to me. Uh, I think Amber has incredible Hoyas. She, uh, she just really has the stuff, um, things that you don't normally all normally don't see. And her customer service is excellent. So I definitely like to purchase from Amber's Hoyas. Um, she's definitely got a repeat customer in me. Um, she packages lovely plants. I can't wait to show this Finlaysonii to my daughter Kayla so she can pick which parts she wants when after it's, um, after it is uh, acclimated, I will split it up and, and we will pot it up and split it up and see, see what happens. So today I got the Finlay Sony Eye Dark. I got the Hoya Pistoleptis. Goodness gracious. I can't say, I can't say Hoya names to save my life today. I got the Hoya as gifts. I got the Hoya Lacanosa leopard skin. So I wanted to go ahead and go over the final tally of what I got in my box of goodies from Amber's Hoyas. The two plants that I bought were the Finlaysonii dark form. And what a plant that is, complete with a new gorgeous new leaf. And the Hoya pisolepsis which has the unique abs as the new leaf form. And Amber was gracious enough to gift me these two plants, the Hoya lacanosa leopard skin and the Hoya anica genoe. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really appreciate you joining me for today's unboxing and seeing the new plants that I got. I can't wait to enter them into my prop box for them to begin to acclimate to my conditions. And I can't wait to introduce them to my cabinets for them to begin to grow. Okay, I have to do a little cut in here because as I was cleaning out the box, I realized that there is one more plant in there. I can't even believe it. There's one more plant. And this one is another one I really wanted. It wasn't like a super rare wish list one, but it was a wish list one in terms of, I'd really like to have it and see if I can get it to grow better than the Matil or the Serpents, because I killed Serpents a couple of times. That should tell you which one, which, which Hoya this is. This is Cheng Han Gensis. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. The leaves are small. They got little abs on them that the serpents does it. This Hoya has new leaves forming that did not fall off during the shipment. That's amazing. They spent six days 
in shipping and there are still new leaves that didn't get bent up at all. So that's really awesome. So thank you for my Chang Hung uh, That's It's really beautiful. I really appreciate you joining with me for today's video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up that lets me know if you like or don't like this kind of uh, content from me. If you would like to see other plant related content from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers and what a goal that is. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I am interactive with the comment section, so I will get back to you. Until next time, I will see you then. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.